a shoe girl. This is so fun. I love talking about shoes. Welcome back to the show. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. This is Heart, and today we are going to talk about shoes. Where do we begin? When did it begin? My love for shoes. Of course, ever since I was a little girl. I loved it so much that when I was about four or five, I remember wearing my mom's turquoise, I think it was Escada strappy shoes. I always wanted to wear them and uh, she wasn't home that time and I did. I tried them on, tried to walk down the stairs and then I just fell. I rolled down and I hit a glass table, a beveled glass table and hit my head right here, which explains I have a, a slice right here. It was seven stitches. Mm -hmm. So I was rushed to the emergency room and I was crying and my mom told me it was a nightmare because a whole cotton ball could fit inside because it was so big and a whole Q-tip and they were really like going through the skin to check if there was like glass or anything. And I was screaming because I was very, very young and they had to put a stray jacket on me because I kept on moving. So that's how it began. My uh, very dark beginnings with my love for shoes. And so ever since then, I was aware I did everything. I did 168, the growth balls that you can buy in Mega Mall, all the Chinese herb to drink for you to get tall. But at a certain point, we knew that I wasn't gonna get tall. My doctor said that I had a chance when I was young that I'd be 5'7", but I didn't. I'm 5'2". And so I said, okay, I need to relaunch my life with high heels. So I remember my first ever obsession were jelly shoes. I had clear ones. I remember it was Steve Madden and I had ones that were from Guess. I think I was about 11 or 12 years old. My dad was always mad at my mom because I always wanted to wear high heels. And I remember those because they were transparent. So they were clear and it made me appear that I looked tall. And then, of course, I wasn't really doing anything. I was young and the only shoe that I could actually wear every day were my school shoes. And in school, I studied in Colea de San Agustin in Dasma Village. We weren't allowed to wear heels in school and that really pissed me off because I was always the second girl in line because I was the smallest. So. I always wanted to, you know, wear shoes. So I had baby dolls. And I remember because we had to change our shoes all the time, my mom would always buy me shoes in Guess or in Payless in San Francisco. And so I would have different black shoes and Steve Madden. Those are my uh, school shoes. And I would, I remember pair them up with crumpled heart socks from Marks and Spencers. I don't know if you had that, the really long ones. Kids from the 90s would get what I'm saying. And that's how I started my love for shoes. And we would always go back to San Francisco and I would shop. I remember in the city, I'd shop Steve Madden. So Steve Madden was my go-to for the longest time. And actually it is still my go-to. So as I started to work, that's when I started to invest on shoes because it was just part of my job. I realized how it lasts longer. So from a few pairs, it became this. So I'm gonna tell you a story of how it all began and I'm gonna show you like shoes that has specific memories or my first pair and what I did, who gave it to me and what happened. So let's begin. So let's start with the oldest pair that I have in my closet. These I got when I was, I think, 18 or 19 years old. I still use them up to this day and, and I'm glad that I got them because it's timeless. It's, they still produce stuff like this and I love the wedge. I was trying to look for the perfect nude and I wasn't really available so I settled with this. Um, but I love it and it's super comfy. Not as high as the ones that I use now, but I love that. The next one would be this. I think I got this when I was 23. It's also from Louis Vuitton. Um, they didn't have yet uh, Louboutins, or they did in Rustans. My mom was also a fan of Louis Vuitton and my dad, so I always loved. I had more actually, but I gave them away. Some were actually given to me by people that should not be mentioned. This is also, this is also a favorite. And at that time, I thought that this was really high. Like I was like, ha, oh, got it. And I love that era. They had the whole denim Louis Vuitton bags. I still have the bag here. And I really, really love this. I remember buying this when I went to Dubai for the very, very first time. And I bought these with um, these Giuseppe Zanotti that 
uh, unfortunately cannot be fixed. So, but it's so pretty, so dainty. This is kind of low, but I really thought that it was so high back then. And I would always look for really high ones, but this is as high as it got when, back in the day. Yeah, so I remember I also had the YSL ones. Tributes, not yet then. It was something like this shape, and I remember the flower, it was nude. It was the best. I remember I used to dance with that on ASAP. It was like everything, and the flower was detachable. And then I eventually got my leather tributes, which was also nude. And you know, it goes to show that designer ones, and the shoes that you really invest on really lasts a long time. I mean, imagine this is probably what? Let's not even compute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next. Yeah, so let's talk about tributes. It was and still is. I mean, not, not a lot of people like it just because they feel like it's out of fashion, but honestly, it is the most in demand because it's so comfy. It's for the titas of Manila. It's so comfy. You can wear it with elephant pants when you don't want to show your heels. And you could literally walk miles and miles with it. I got a lighter and a darker shade because again, mahangin na ko, miitim na ko. So it depends with my skin tone. So I got two, two types pa. Wow, and I remember this one, it died. The first day pa lang, it died because I was in Paris and I was walking on, you know, the where they have the love locks? And it, it went inside the bridge, so it died. So I never really, but it's okay, it's fine. I still wear them. And I also have the red. Wow, as a whole, they have red. They had, I also had fuchsia pink. They had so, electric blue. They had so many colors. But unfortunately, I gave them and sold some, so it's not with me anymore. Okay, what else? Let's talk about something that's connected to cheese. So, okay, when Cheese and I were first dating, he noticed that every time we traveled, before I did my Hermes phase, I was really into the Louboutin phase. And the only thing I requested, if we had dinner or we had lunch or whatever, or whatever it was, so whatever his work was, my only request that we open the store of Christian Louboutin. Like we were there at 10.30, it opened at 11. I was there and I would look through the windows. That was my major obsession. I remember I had a rule that every time I traveled back in the day that I can purchase, but it's the only thing I purchased and everything else was just, you know, shopping, whatever, lang. Mga Bath and Body Works. But <laughs> my budget really for myself was five pairs of Louboutin shoes. I was around, I started that when I was 24, 25. I made a promise that I would love Christian Louboutin, who eventually became my friend. So it's really, really cute. We went to Napa Valley and I was not expecting, because we were there for wine tasting, I wasn't expecting that we were going to see a Christian Louboutin store. But I remember there was this boutique with curated items. Lo and behold, it was a Christian Louboutin shoe and it was so beautiful like I've never seen this and you know it seems really really high but it's so comfy and I remember it, they had it in nude but there was no size and I'm still up to this day looking for the nude so if there's anybody that can show me a website where they said vintage or secondhand I'm definitely looking for a nude size 37 of these because they're the best and this I've gotten my money back already ROI na ako dito because I've used it in so many trips and so many endorsements and and again, lasts forever. So that was the one. I only got one pair that trip because it was the only store that had Christian Louboutin and I've been obsessed with Christian Louboutin. How I wear this, I can wear it with, if you're like into something girly, of course it's like, instead of wearing flat boots, you can wear this, kind of makes it more rugged. You can wear it with ripped jeans, a white shirt. You can wear it with a blazer. Christian Louboutin has a way of crafting shoes that don't cut your leg. Like it doesn't cut here, so your legs look longer. And yeah, a lot of people say that it's painful, but you know, it really just depends. It's about training. It's like ballet. You train your, your ankles to be a certain way. It won't hurt anymore. So I remember in the beginning, I would kind of feel pain, but eventually I adjusted to it. Although I cannot do the pigal, I can't do like the so, so Kate. It's just too steep for me. I think because of my height and the structure of my body, it just goes up to a certain way. Like I can't super stretch and I've accepted that, but when he does shoes, it's arched in a certain way that it's so sexy. Even if it's chunky, it still looks so good and dainty on your, on your feet. So it's beautiful and I love it. And what I love about this is, again, you see it's only up to a certain area. It's not like up to here where it's like cut 
or if there's a shoe, which I'll show you in a bit, it'll still make your legs look like elongated. So I love that. Other shoes that I got during my trip with Cheese, and I loved it because at the time, platforms were still very, very much available. Now everybody wants them low. It's so sad. Um, but yeah, I got these. So I forget um, the type of heel that they call this um, but my wedding shoes which I'll also show you is the same exact mold as this one so I made sure that I got all of the kind I don't mind I mean of course I invest on certain pieces like clothes coats I mean coats jackets certain skirts certain dresses but my everyday I don't mind doing Zara all the way I love again I've said this many times I love Zara I love high-end low-end and I think that's more sustainable when it comes to your spending and everything but I would definitely wear this. I mean, I haven't worn this a lot because um, it's a little painful, but it's so beautiful. It's croc. I think this is a snake skin. And I, I remember getting this with this. I got five pairs that time. I can't find it. You know, when it comes to shoes, I remember everything. This one I got, I've worn this only a couple of times because I don't know, for some reason, I feel like it's gonna when I scratch the two together, I'll destroy it. But then I found an area, well, whenever I go to Paris, that's when I'll have it um, fixed. But I think I got this in New York. And I remember on the same trip, because I had exotic skin and like limited edition ones, my budget was running low. So I said, okay, I'm gonna settle for something that looks like, but it's still the same. It's still the Bhutan, but it's just really like uh, a material that they made it look like snake, but it was still worth it. And I still definitely use this. In fact, I love the Pipto um, chucks. How do you call it? I can't believe I'm forgetting. How can I forget? But um, I have this in absolutely every color. This is the other, so this is the highest. And then the next is this. So I have that in, you have the sling back. Preferably love the sling back because it doesn't slip. Sometimes, you know, when you're walking and you're too confident, it's good, it's good. So that's a normal thing for me. I always trip. I always leave one pair of shoe behind. That's always me. But you know, I just laugh it off. And then people see that, ah, it's lang siya. Ganun. So this is Lady Peep. And of course, my love for nudes i love nudes but i'm not sure if you can see all the way back but this from here is all the nudes all of that so i this is the most used shoe in my closet and you know i remember there is this filipino designer i'm not gonna name but every time like my a lot of my other friends would tell me like he would always like say bad things about me and he would say oh she she only has one pair ganyan and she only, it's already what year and she still uses her lady peep nude platform and it bothered me so much because for me shoes isn't really or fashion isn't really about who has the latest season or what's the newest that's the only thing i'm gonna buy no fashion is all about having key pieces that will last you forever that you could still like use and mix with your new and old i think that is fashion and that is self-expression it isn't all about oh is it the latest collection i really don't believe in that and i think it's so nouveau rich again fashion is made for a lifetime it's not just for the season so when people tell you that, ah, luma na yan, o lumang design, forget it. The hell with what they say because it's all about how you feel and how good you feel. And if this makes me feel like I'm 5'11 and I can be Miss Universe, child, then why not? I'm gonna wear it forever. And that's why I decided because now they don't make this anymore. They have it in a lower kind. They don't have the sling back anymore. And I was right. I'm so glad that I bought myself a couple of pairs because they don't make it anymore. And it's the only one I wear. And if I don't know what to wear, this is what I'm gonna wear. Let's talk about something that, a shoe that I will never forget. You remember the story when I told you that I went to a Scaparelli couture show and somebody, a model, uh, she belongs to a certain stature, like she's one of the senior models that's very known in France. I accidentally, my, my shoe got caught in her dress and I'm so short, so it's not like my foot was like this. No, I was seated properly, but the shoe had a lot of sequins. It got caught in her dress. This was the shoe. And it's so beautiful and I will never forget that day because after the curtain caller, when they were doing their final walk, she went up to me in front of everyone. She went like this and she said, 
and I'll never forget. And at this, the same day, I remember when I was watching this, she's like, Paramoy poops. And I didn't know I stepped on poop. And I accidentally uploaded it on Twitter, and someone said, Nakataba ka ng tae. And then I remember when I said, Alam mo yon? When I saw the picture, I was nakaganito right before I entered the show. Nakaapaka ko ng tae. But you know what? Looking back, I think it's all meant to be because, you know, they say it's lucky when you step on poop. It was lucky because from that day on, I remember I started to go to so many other fashion weeks. And what I loved about um, creating vlogs was I was able to share it with all of you. And now I'm making you quite the story. So. Lucky pair of shoes. What else do I look for whenever I buy shoes? Of course, I do have my lower kind of shoes. Like I have shoes that I use when I travel. A lot of people ask me, do I wear rubber shoes? I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit. But I'm gonna show you shoes that I really wear when I'm at the airport or when I'm walking around. And a lot of people comment on my vlogs, don't I feel pain or isn't it painful or hindi ba masakit? The honest truth, these pair of shoes are the best. They do not hurt. I don't have to wear Emla. Yes, I do. A lot of people ask me also about that and I'd like to address that. I do put Emla. You, you can buy it in any drugstore. I put it and then I put Band-Aid on it. You know the silicone Band-Aids? Just so I don't feel it. But I only do that when it's extremely painful and only when I have work or when I'm, when I'm attending Fashion Week and I really, really need to wear these a pair of shoes, that's when I put it. But usually I don't, so I use these shoes. I have this, and it was really a goal that I completed. These are the lace shoes of Dolce & Gabbana. This is so comfy. Like, it's super duper comfy. I can wear it the whole day. I can run in these. I can, I can do my grocery. Like, seriously, you guys are laughing at me, but really, you have to get yourself a pair of these shoes because it's really comfy. So I made sure that I can have all the colors, well, the colors that I'll be able to use a lot. Um, because when I travel or when I'm doing an errand, I definitely wear these shoes. Because in the Philippines, you know, when they see you and then nakita ka in person, Ay, hindi pa na siya masyadong matangkad, no? Ganyan! Ang sakit! So, sa ko, shocks! Kailangan lagi kong prepared. Tsaka nakakahiya. You know, you're always on Instagram. You know, and I love fashion. Look at your best. And sometimes I feel like, you know, I'm doing myself a favor. It feels good to always be prepared. It feels good to always be ready. You never know who you're gonna see. Manila's so small. And you know what? Many times, I've done that. Okay, today, chill lang ako kasi pressure na ako. Madami ako pinaproblem, madami ako problem. Mag-ano lang ako. Parang flats, parang low-key, chuchu. Tapos biglang nakita ko siya. Hayop. Ano pa bang next ko? Okay, let's move to a different brand. Aside from Dolce & Gabbana, I am also in love with Cassidy. Cassidy is uh, an Italian shoe brand and also the molding of their shoes are perfect. They have the platform. They're super duper high, but they're so sexy on the feet. Like it's so beautiful, it's not chunky, and I love that. Again, shoes has a lot to do with the structure of your body. I am 5'2", I'm not very, very slim. I have hips, and sometimes when you wear chunky shoes, the more you look shorter or in a way. There's just a way to do stuff or how to play with your body. I think I have mastered that in a way. But as I've gotten older, I have worked on my flaws and insecurities, and it's just really all about finding ways to feel good about yourself and putting stuff together that makes you look a certain way that you feel comfortable with. It's not exactly not being proud of your flaws, it's actually working around it because nobody's perfect. So going back to the shoes, Cassidy is also something that I love the most. I'm gonna show you a few. I don't know if you remember my super high knee boots, black that I've worn in Paris. I also have it in nude, I'm gonna show you that in a bit. This is the molding of Cassidy. And it is just amazing. This is a 37, looks painful, but it's so comfy. And people that don't wear heels would probably say, Paano siya nakakalakad ng ganyan? But when you wear heels, you know exactly what I'm saying about shoes that are like this. I don't know why. Ito talaga. I'm sad to say, I really do regret these, but it's just too beautiful to sell. And if I'm gonna sell it, I used it once, it's na realize ko masakit. Pag binenta ko na, nagtapon lang ako ng pera, they iwan ko na. Pag mag Victoria na lang, that's when I'll use it and then I take it out. Ganun na lang. This is the only painful Louboutin shoes. Christian, I'm so sorry. That for me, because I feel like my legs are only arched up to a certain point. Kasi hanggang dun na lang talaga. Really, that one. But Cassidy, this one is so comfy. Siguro mga after six hours, na medyo parang. 
namamanhid na yung pinky, pero okay pa rin siya. This is also Cassidy. I just got this yesterday. Nakong papalod ni Cheese to patay na naman ako. I got this yesterday. And it's baby doll. I love it. I'm gonna show you. I have the exact same one. It's nude because I know nude's good for me. So I can invest on nude because I know I'll use it forever. This is the same, almost the same kind. And it's super comfy. And so that's why I decided to get something that looks like it. Um, see, look at their mold. It's, so, it's the same. It's chunky, but sexy, thin, and comfy and it's forever. Okay, transparent shoes I love. It's also super comfy. I got them from, it's a Tony Blanca. Louboutin actually has the same ones, but they're a little bit uh, shorter. And Tony Blanca is an Australian band, if I'm not mistaken, and there's an Instagram account, Luxury for Less. And she would gift me so many of these, and they're the best. Again, it doesn't cut your legs, so you look and appear longer. Almost every color, thanks to Tony Bianco, a brand from Australia, and it's the best. I honestly, it's very affordable. I won't even show you the others because it's so dirty because I use it almost every day also, especially when I'm just chilling and this is really nice and it matches obviously everything, so very good. You know who also has a really good collection? Filipino artist, Rufa May Quinto. My God, her collection, she went on sale so she had like a, a little sale on her Instagram. I'm sorry guys, wala kayo naabutan kasi binili ko na lahat ng magaganda. Sobrang ganda ng collection niya. As in all, almost all runway, Chanel boots, yeah. But she was playing around with size 5, 6, and 7. And I could only fit her size 7. So I also got shoes from her. This one, I'm not sure what brand this is, but she said her story naman dito was, it's a boutique in LA. And they were transparent, love transparent, matches everything. You know, I don't wear it all the time, but you never know when you need something like this. And I know it's very dated in a way, but I don't care about it. Rufa May is um, a really, really funny character uh, actress here in the Philippines. So these are her Gucci shoes that I got too. And I got them for what, 5,000 pesos, Gucci? 5,000 pesos. Tapos yung iba ni na lang niya. Sige na, okay na, ganda. Ano na lang niya? 3,000 na lang niya. Sige na, bigay ko na yan. Ganyan. So she's so cute. I also love Renee Calvilla. So I don't know if you remember, I had a vlog that I had a really bad migraine and then my migraine went away after the store. That was Renee Calvilla. So I love, 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 love. This one I got when I went to Milan. I was just there with friends. Um, I was just passing through and I saw the red sign of Renee Calvilla. I ran into them, got, the, got these shoes. I saw that they had the platform version and it's so beautiful. I think every beauty queen must have this. Um, it's just so elegant. I got them in the silver also. And then I stopped because it's over now. But um, also that's a good brand. So this has a cute story actually. Um, this is from of course, Christian Louboutin. He signed these for me. It was a collaboration dedicated to the Princess of Bhutan, which is his good friend. And I remember during this trip, he invited me over to his house and he cooked pasta with me with other friends that he had over. And it was just such a wonderful experience that I'll treasure the most. And it's just amazing to see really successful designers that are so humble. And he was just so, so gracious and nice. And we actually message each other till this day on WhatsApp. He'd send me pictures of the kids and I'd send him pictures of the food that I eat in Sorsogon ganyan. And hopefully I can take him to Sorsogon, but we became very, very good friends. And it's just really nice to meet people that are successful, that are still very, very humble and kind. So yeah, so this is really, really nice. And yeah, like I mentioned, I wanted to show you guys my wedding shoes. Um, I had my friend Bejeweled. Uh, it says CH, her cheese heart. And I was looking for this for the longest time. I think this is the Pigal. This was the best. I also wanted it very, very high. I got married in Balisin, so it was a beach. So we made sure that we got married in an area where I can walk with my high heels. That was a requirement. And my friend Albert Korniawan, who also has a YouTube channel, helped me look for these because it was so hard to find. He got this pair in Monaco. So, which was amazing because he got this in Monaco and my gown was actually inspired by Grace Kelly of Monaco. So, wonderful story. And I only used it once and I can't believe that I put these, but it's okay. I was just trying to prolong the life. And it's okay, it's still alive, so 
we'll put it back on the shelf. Memories. I have a few Manolos, only because of Sex and the City. I have grew up watching Sex and the City. Well, not every scene, but uh, I love Manolos because they're so elegant, they're so classy. I love anything that's beautiful and just makes me happy every time I wear it. These were actually, I think, the last purchase. No, 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 second to the last purchase. I remember the story was my sister-in-law borrowed this pair for my husband's birthday. And then when she returned, back, ah, brand new. Bumuli ata siya ng brand new. <laughs> but galing, I'm, I'm impressed. Whoever cleaned my shoe for her, you're good. Uh, this, I always wanted emerald green. It's so elegant, so timeless. It's just so pristine and royal. Um, and I loved what Manolo did because the same with Christian Louboutin. He didn't cut your leg by placing the, the jewels on top. It's still very much placed perfectly to elongate your legs. And it's just so beautiful. This is also very comfy. On a normal day with my Dolce's, I wear this. Even if you have your errands and you have reality. And reality is we all have our errands. We all have our bills to pay. We all have to do so many things all at the same time. Plus, and that, well, for me, that I have the twins, but they're they're kind of in their teens, so it's not hard anymore. I have this cat scratching ganyan. I have panda wanting food. I have Yogi peeing everywhere. Some of you don't need it, but you still want to do it in style. So, yeah. Yeah, so these are my Dolce & Gabbana shoes. These are actually runway shoes, and I got them on sale. Can you imagine? Oh my God. I would definitely, every time I travel, I definitely look out for outlets. And I got these in Lavalie in Paris. And it's usually the first stop from the airport. We wait, we eat, and then we get some shoes. And I'm so proud of these. And I wear these up to now. I think I've had these for what, four years now? I'm so glad that I got them. They're unique. They're, again, it's an art piece. and. Even if you don't use it, sige na, lagi mo na sa lamesa, maganda pa rin siya. Fine, let's do the rubber shoes. Okay, people ask me, do I wear rubber shoes? The answer is yes, I do wear rubber shoes naman. I wear rubber shoes when I work out. I wear rubber shoes. Nakakatawa. Trinay ko itong itakbo sa UP. Nadulas-dulas ako. So, hindi siya talaga pang workout. But, I'm gonna show you a secret. I have inserts. And it depends. If it's high cut, the more the merrier. I'll show you my boots later, but I usually always place these inserts that you can get online. They also have it in the Japanese store, Daiso. It comes in color black. It's a bit hard and it has like a double-sided um, tape so you could stick it. It's the best. So these are my off-white collaborations with Nike. I got these from Secret Fresh. So thank you so much, big boy, who is the king of rubber shoes and everything supreme and everything amazing. Um, he also gave me these Nikes also, which is off-white. Uh, I love it. It's very comfy. It's so stylish. Um, and there's a little height, plus added height. Perfect. 5'4 now. Mm. Approved. <laughs> okay, so I have a specific person that gets all of my Yeezys. Her name is Joyce Closet. She gives me all, uh, actually all of my Yeezys came from her. She was the one that convinced me that I can get away with it. But again, these are actually, okay, you could fit like two inserts and it'll still look good on your feet. And 5'2", five 5'4". Five Let's talk about boots. The only sad part about being in a tropical country is that they're going boots. But honestly, dead ma! You could always pair it with shorts, denim short, an oversized button-down shirt. Para kunyari, very chill, pero naka boots. So, oh yeah, and inserts. My very, very first major purchase for boots, I remember. These are Sergio Rossi, and I got this in Hong Kong, Lane Crawford. These boots have been everywhere, like all around the world. Everywhere. I've danced with it. I've tried to catch trains with it. Nami na rin siyang nakilalang ex boyfriend. Grabe yung pinagda. If this shoe can write a book, oh, wow. Let's not publish it. Shut up. Okay, next. Then we go higher. Cassidy, the magic Cassidy. Um, I love this because, again, I'm 5'2", and so some boots, when you wear, it's up to here, and it's pressing on my my thighs. So it doesn't really look good. What I love about Cassidy, it's stretchable, like this rubber feel texture here, so it holds it up, which is perfect. And I do suggest this for anybody looking for really nice high boots because the, the height is perfect, it's not chunky, it's comfy, 
and you could roll it down. You could do anything and it's so perfect that I have the same. Now, again, I know myself and I know what works for me. And again, when you want something, especially when it's a little pricey, you want to make sure that you invest on stuff that you'll use over and over again. ROI. Again, I've been able to use this many, many times, different outfits, different travels. I made sure that I had it in the ankle cut type because it just worked so much for me. And every time I travel, I just bring all of that. And I'm okay na. Okay na siya. Okay, let's, let's mention my dad naman. My dad is also somebody who taught me how to shop and he would always say, Sige na, kung ma-approve yung card, go mo na yan. So, he's funny. I also absolutely love this pair of Louboutin. My dad gave this to me and it's also really, really comfy. And I've used this a thousand times, literally a thousand times. This is Alaya, the highest poly pair of shoes that I own. Bought this in Paris and they also have a version that's slightly shorter. This is beautiful and it's very, very comfy. And if you want to conquer the world, this is the shoe that you, you can get. Yeah, clueless. It's an Alaya. Another pair, this is actually something that I bought in Italy. Silla. And what I love about going to Italy is they have a lot of amazing shoe designers. But look at it. Look how beautiful, how, how slim, how sexy. It's nice because it fits like a glove. And this is super beautiful. I've also worn this a couple of times. But I try not to wear it because I'm so OC about it. I do not know where to get the studs. Can't go to Italy anytime soon. So, natulog na muna. So I bought this. I remember I I was wearing a pair of boots that were super high and I was really, really not happy or I regret that I was wearing that pair because it was so painful. And I went to this vintage store and I saw these Chanel boots. And you know how much I got this for? 5,000 pesos. That's really good for a Chanel. How much is a Chanel outside? 70, 80? 5,000 pesos and it was slightly used. Although after a while, siguro because it wasn't used a lot, na, na ano na siya, na tunaw. And this, this is the one pala. 3,000 pesos. And you know, when it comes with the Swarovskis, they're usually very expensive. This was 3,000 pesos. I couldn't say no to that. And you know, I'm not my arte when it comes to these things. I'm very practical, I'll buy it. And you know what's the best part? Because I'm usually a seven, this is a 36 and a half. So sometimes you have to break them in. I didn't have to do that because somebody else did it. That's 3,000 na yung ko. So again, you know, I don't wear these shoes, but then it was so perfect for 3,000. I had to get him. Imagine. Okay, so my lowest pair that I would trust myself wearing just in case I run into someone are these Chanel flats. These are, uh, this is a classic. I love it. So as you can see, I've worn them a thousand times once again. Actually, most of my shoes are actually, some of them I buy, some of them are gifts. Like some of the stuff that I've shown you are gifts actually from my friends on Instagram. All of, you know, they're personal shoppers and they're the best people. And I don't know, they just give me a lot of gifts. So these were gifts and I've used them so much. And it's just, it's a classic, very elegant. Okay, so late, latest obsession, of course, you have the Amina Mowadi. Cinderella shoes. Well, I call them Cinderella shoes. Uh, again, they're transparent, they're shiny, shimmery, and they match with everything. You could wear them with jogging pants. Yes, jogging pants. You can wear them with a gown, anything. And I have them both. They were actually Christmas gifts from my friends on Instagram. So thank you, thank you so, so much. So yeah, I think these are also the in shoes now. Um, although again, I don't really believe in trends, but this just happens to be super in Tagalog sulit, matches everything, used multiple times. So, I think I ran out of stories, guys. I really thought that I wouldn't have much, no, I actually thought I would have a lot to say about this vlog. And I have so much cuento, but I really had a lot of cuento. But, you know, it's always so fun to, you know, really reminisce and go back and show you guys where my shoes have taken me in the past. But that was so much fun and I don't mind doing this after a few years um, when I have a little bit more. Mm, same lang, different stories. Same, same set, different stories for a next vlog. So 
If there's anything else that you guys want me to feature on my channel or if there's anything else that you want me to do, please comment down below. Feel free. This is a friendly community and you are part of my family. So don't forget. And if you're not, please subscribe. Okay? Uh, so I hope you guys had fun. I did. Uh, and I can go on and on. Actually, I'm really, really parched. Thirsty in short. So um, yeah, this has been Heart. I'll see you again next time. And hopefully... We will be exploring the world already by that time. Stay safe, everyone.